This is the example on slide 65 of our chapter 19 PowerPoint. And here we are going to be calculating the standard enthalpy change for a reaction using some um, tabulated data, um, the standard entropies um, of different chemicals. So the reaction um, is given to us and I've written here on the slide. And then I have also gathered the standard entropies of several different chemicals. And if you're following a line, a line along on your PowerPoint, you'll see that there's a table with entropy values. Um, now, in your homework problems, hopefully the um, Pearson will state those for you um, in the problem that you need. If not, you can look them up um, in one of your appendices in your textbook. Um, so basically, to calculate the standard entropy change of a reaction, we do it very similarly to um, standard enthalpy change. We talked about this in the first semester, where we basically take the change in entropy, sum them up for all of our products, and subtract the change in entropy of our reactants. So we're going to be using this basic equation that I'm highlighting right now. So I have the values for all of the reactants and products in this calculation. Um, and we're going to be looking at making sure we know the mole amounts of each in the reaction because that's going to influence what we multiply by. And we're going to start plugging into this equation. So for the first part, it's products. So we're going to take four. We're going to start with NO, um, nitrogen monoxide, four times that entropy value, 210.8. Um, and that's in... We're not going to write the units because I'm going to run out of room, but it's in units of joules per Kelvin. And we're going to add that together with 6, because there's 6 moles of water, times 188.8. And then subtract from that the sum of our reactants, 4 times 192.8 joules per Kelvin. Um, let me write that decimal a little bit better, plus 5 moles of oxygen times the entropy of oxygen, 205.2. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so our products, if we multiply and add all, the, all those together, we get 1976.0 joules per Kelvin. And on the reactants, we get... 1797.2 joules per Kelvin. And if we subtract those two from one another, the standard enthalpy change, not enthalpy, sorry, entropy change of our reaction is equal to 178.8 joules per Kelvin. And that is your final answer.